In this video, I want to look at some informal notions about binary operations. To get started, we're going to let S be a set. Uh, we call triangle a binary operation on S if triangle gives us a way to combine two elements inside S to get a well-defined mathematical object. And uh, the notation that we use for a binary operation, we typically use what is called infix notation, where the operator goes between the two elements that we are trying to combine. And we can read this as A triangle B. And it is important to note that this is called infix notation. The operator goes between the two elements. And saying that triangle is a binary operation says that if A and B belong to S, then A triangle B is a well-defined object. Now what that really means is that if A triangle B is equal to something called C and A triangle B is also equal to something called D, then we have to have C and D being actually the same mathematical object. That's what this phrase well-defined mathematical object means. And this will play an important role later on in the semester. There are a couple of other things that I want to think about in terms of some very basic properties that binary operations might have. So let me say this is some basic properties that a binary operation might have. The first one is something called closure. Uh, if we happen to know that if A and B are inside S, then A triangle B is always inside S, we say that triangle is closed on the set S. As a couple of basic examples, um, if I think about uh, the integers under multiplication, well, I know that uh, if I take two, in two integers and I multiply them together, I get another integer. So Z under times is closed. If I let S equal the uh, set of K's inside Z such that K is not equal to zero, in other words, S is the set of non-zero integers, uh, and I think about um, trying to look at S under divides, S under divides is not closed because, uh, let's see, 2 and 3 both belong to S, but 2 divided by 3 is 2 thirds, and 2 thirds is not an integer, so 2 thirds is clearly not inside S. Uh, so that's the first thing that a particular operation might have, is, is closure. A second basic property that a binary operation might have is associativity. And associativity is when you can put parentheses wherever you want. In other words, if I take three elements inside my set S, um, if that will then imply, so let me correct my notation here, if that implies that A triangle B 
triangle C with parentheses that way is equal to A triangle B triangle C with parentheses over here, then we say that uh, triangle is associative. And it turns out that associative operations are extremely important in mathematics. Uh, in fact, they're so important that mathematicians really strongly prefer operations that are associative. Uh, as a basic example, the real numbers under addition is associative because you already know that a plus b plus c and a plus b plus c are exactly the same thing. But if we try and look at uh, subtraction, then we lose associativity. Um, R under subtraction is not associative because, um, because 1 minus 2 minus 3, if I put the parentheses here, that's going to be negative 1 minus 3, that's negative 4. But if I put the parentheses over here, I get 1 minus minus 1, and that's 1 minus minus 1 is positive 2. And these, of course, are not equal. The final very basic property that an that an that a binary operation might have is commutativity. If I take any pair of objects inside my set, and that implies that A triangle B is the same thing as B triangle A, then we're going to say that triangle is commutative. And um, again, commutative operations are very important inside mathematics. As a basic example, if I look at the real numbers under multiplication, I know that a times b is the same thing as b times a, so r under times is commutative. But again, if I look at something like subtraction, Subtraction is not commutative. And subtraction is not commutative because 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2, and 3 is equal to positive 2, and these, of course, are not the same. In the next video, we will look at some additional properties that a binary operation might possess.